What's up YouTube, this is Mac and I one coming at you with a new deck profile. It's for Trap Tricks, or Trap Tricks, Trap Tricks Hands, which has gained a lot of popularity recently. Um, it doesn't have the artifact engine, mainly because it's really expensive. But I think the deck functions really well without it as well. Um, I meant to do this quite a while ago, but um, uni and life in general have kind of made me put Yu-Gi-Oh to the back burner. But uni is now done for me, so expect more content from me in the coming months. But yeah, let's get straight into the deck list. Uh, triple Donia and Triple Mamelia. Uh, this gives you a lot of rank 4 potential, as well as a lot of spell and trap removal. Um, I played a game with an earlier version of this deck where I used more Mamelio's effect about 4 times, I think, uh, just to pop things. So, it's really good for that. And of course, uh, Stratosing, Bottomless Trap Bowl. And trap trick strap hole is pretty booked. Uh, next we have three fire and three ice hands. Um, probably some most broken floaters in the game at the moment. Seems like any deck can just play a pair or or a play set of these each and get away with it. But this deck capitalizes on it by uh, allowing you to combine them with the uh, trap tricks summon prevention by giving you these, which are good against established fields. Uh, one teaking. Teaking's just in there for anti meta, basically. And uh, I run Call Haunted, so you can always live the dream and chain Call Haunted to uh, a searcher card and have it resolved without effect thanks to Thunder King. Uh, two Trags, because your monsters aren't very big, but you won't be going very minus, so you should have three or four cards in hand at least, at all times. So, uh Trag seem like a good idea. And then to round off the monsters to Maxi. These shouldn't really take much explaining. Uh, for spells, one book, triple space, triple duality, uh, one dichotomy. I used to run this at two, but I cut it to one because uh, it clogged a little bit. It's good for recycling your Dionias and hands, anything else you need, because you run quite a lot of mishmash types. I think the only things that share types are the Maxis and the Melias, and then one, one Dark Hole to finish off spells. Alright, for the traps, uh, one Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. Uh, I used to run this into as well, but I quickly discovered that it's not good against everything, so I stuck one of them in the side deck. Uh, one bottomless, this is good against pretty much everything, so obviously you run it at one. Two breakthroughs, two calls. Uh, with this, you can bring back your Melio, get a pop. Then go into an Xyz play or something. So it turns into get a free monster plus MSD your opponent, which is pretty good. And if you're playing against artifacts or something, you can always use this during their turn to pop a freshly set artifact, which is nice. Uh, 2D prisons to counter hands and other things. Uh, one black horn, morning. One Compulse, one Mirror Force, and two White Tap to stop yourself getting deep in. Yeah, that should be 40 cards. 
possibly 41, I don't think I've counted, but yeah. For the extra deck, uh, one Rhapsody and Berserk. Uh, this allows you to remove problem stuff, like Dragon Rulers or whatever, from your opponent's graveyard. Uh, Ragnar Zero, pretty good against Bujins and Fire Fist and things like that. Uh, one Alvadek. It's good against uh, anything that spams a lot of stuff. Obviously, most of the times when that happens, you'll go into Exton. But there are situations where you'd want to go into Alvadek instead. Uh, one Cowboy. One Bistweller. Nice stroke. Corn, Ark, Utopia, Pappy, Direwolf, Chain, Emerald, Ouroboros, and Exeter. But yeah, uh, that covers it for the deck profile. Um, next deck I'll be working on is Bujins. Um, Hopefully, I should get sort of the meta version, and if I can get another hero myth from somewhere, I'll show you a sort of a fun build, which is a lot faster, but not as controlly. Yeah, it's been Uzmak Kunai1, signing out.